to expand the visibility for ILMA and also to try to enhance our image and let people know what we're all about and also to help promote ALMA because I think that will be uh, very beneficial for this market and lubricants in general. It's a little bit hard to know exactly how many market here because not everyone will be willing to share that information. But we know that quite a few of our members do market internationally, now exactly where they are. Uh, I would say probably the largest group of products is probably in the metalworking arena. In the United States, we produce at least 75% of all the metalworking fluids that are made there. So that's a big piece of what we do to begin with and it's a little bit easier to move that across the lines because it's not driven by specification, it's driven entirely by performance. But the customers have to understand what you're doing and it, it requires much more of a relationship mm -hmm. so that they know they can trust what you're doing and that you will make the product for them and then continue to make it the same way. But if the product doesn't work, then you're gonna be out. Uh, but it's rather than having industry-wide specifications, all of the products are based on the operations at the plants, the types of metals they're using, the different operations that they're making. Well, the, the North American market unquestionably is what people refer to as a mature market. It's simply not going to grow. For lubricants, it's not going to grow at a particularly high rate. But there's so much development going on here. Um, India's exploding. China's still growing at an incredible rate, so the opportunities for our ILMA members as well as the local people are going to continue to grow. Um, I, I don't think there's any threat from our members coming over because there's going to be so much business here uh, as we move forward that there's plenty for everybody. Well, it doesn't affect what I do particularly, but the changes that are coming in engine oils, I think, are going to be dramatic. And the process for coming up with new specifications absolutely has to change. There's no question about that. It will be interesting to see how much of that change is driven by the different OEMs, uh, because they simply can't wait for these new changes to come down. They already have the hardware, the equipment, the engines out in the field and they need to get the fluids out that are appropriate for those. I don't necessarily look at things that way in general. Uh, the only constants change if you sit around and wait. I, I saw a quote recently, if you think you don't like change, you're really not going to like irrelevance. So you have to be ready to change, you have to pay attention to what's going on and adapt to what's required in, in the field. And that's what most of the ILMA members are accustomed to doing anyway. Thank you very much. This has been a great conference and you, you really know what you're doing.